As we continue to celebrate Women's History Month, Fox 61 is highlighting two young ladies who are carving out a space for themselves in a male-dominated industry, all of them getting their start at Connecticut Technical High School. So joining me this morning, we have Cheyenne Saunders, former student at Platt Technical School, and Amy Halroyd, welding instructor from Bristol Technical Education Center. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So excited to have you guys here and shed some light on your career paths. We're going to start with Amy. So Amy, you were a welding student at the same school that you now teach at. Uh, what's that experience been like? So my experience at Bristol Tech, I went there as a postgraduate student after I went to University of Hartford and studied sculpture. Mm -hmm. And I graduated and wondered, what am I going to do with my sculpture degree? And I really enjoyed metal fabrication. And I had amazing welding instructors. And in my mind, I thought, like, that would be an incredible career path someday. Um, and as I continued to work further with them, I started teaching their night school program. And then I got into substitute teaching. And I really enjoyed my experience working with students. And then that led me to push into wanting to instruct full time. Yeah. How do you think, you know, just your presence there inspires other women who are enrolled in the program? Well, I try to just lead by example and just kind of always push it myself to do as well as I can in my trade and just kind of let my work speak for itself. And hopefully like that I try to think that that's going to be enough to be an inspiration and just be a role model just by doing the best I can every day. Yeah. Letting them know it can be done. Absolutely. Right. All right, now Cheyenne. Cheyenne is 23 years old. Uh, you graduated from Platt, and now you are leading your department at the Essex Industries at such a young age. What has that been like, and how have you been able to overcome any difficulties? It's been a whirlwind. It's always moved fast. I've been there for about six and a half years now. Um, it was more... It was more of like a culture shock because of my age and the surroundings mm -hmm. I was with. Going into an adult space as a teenager was definitely difficult and kind of adjusting towards adult life pretty fast and adjusting towards not really going going out and stuff like that, having responsibilities to be able to take care of. It was, but it was great at the same time. I loved doing what I did and I love doing what I do now. So. Yeah. Yeah. And what a transition. I know it's something many of us, all of us have gone through. You know, you go from just having fun to having real adult problems, adulting, yeah. learning how to exist with your, your big girl job. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get the, the year of college or anything like that. Yeah. I just moved right into it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm sure both of your families are extremely proud of you guys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. So what would you say to, um, you know, any female students who might be interested in these fields or want to take up some of these jobs where there may not be many women in the industry? Um, my biggest piece of advice is to not let industry standards intimidate you because the paths are there that um, you can do whatever you want and your skills can speak for themselves. And if you just put your best foot forward and you try not to get wrapped up into the intimidation factor of all of it, um, skills, skilled trades are so needed and women can do just as well, if not better than any man can in any, any industry and to just not let the um, intimidation scare you. Right, great, great stuff. What about you, Cheyenne? Be confident, be yourself, ask questions, really delve into the environment that you're in. Um, try to gain trust and respect with your coworkers because they're there to help you mm -hmm. and you're there to help them. Awesome. So when you build that relationship, you build that trust and that foundation, everything will just go so much easier for you. So yeah. Great. Well, thank you guys for joining us this morning and congratulations. Best of luck on your futures. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thanks <laughs> thank for having you. us.